Happy Sabbath. Hope you guys are having a good morning. Um, I am glad that it's rest time because daddy's been working hard <coughs> trying to get <coughs> some stuff ready. Anyways, it's been a few weeks, maybe. Yeah, because I didn't do a video. I don't remember if I did one at Uncle Josh's house, but I didn't do one at Grobby because the internet was horrible. <coughs> So, back to it. Uh, I picked a couple of songs. One of them you know. Both of them you have heard, but I don't know if you know all the words. So we'll start with number 243, but not in the hymnal. 243 on this printout. Keep on the sunny side <coughs> of life. <coughs> There's a dark and a troubled side of life. There's a bright and a sunny side too. Though we meet with the darkness and strife, the sunny side we also may view. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help us every day, it will brighten all the way. <clears throat> if we keep on the sunny side of life. Though the storm in its fury breaks today. Crushing hopes that we cherish so dear. Storm and cloud will in time pass away. The sun again will shine bright and clear. <clears throat> Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help us every day, it will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side of life, let us greet with a song of hope each day. Though the moments be cloudy or fair, let us trust in our Savior always, who keepeth everyone in his care. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help us every day, it will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side of life. Asher, you probably don't remember, <clears throat> but when you were very small, maybe almost one, um... Well, no, you would have been after one because you were getting a haircut. Um, but when we would take you to get a haircut, that was the only time you were allowed to look at a screen. And you would watch a video of some girls singing that song. And you loved it. But unfortunately, when that phone broke, we lost that video. Anyway, um, somebody brought it to us, though. I mean, a bunch of random stuff that we got. We were looking through it, and there was that print out of that song. So, you know, what Daddy should do is he should laminate it so we don't lose it. Anyways, next song is number 537, He Leadeth Me. <clears throat> he leadeth me, O blessed thought, O words with heavenly comfort fraud. Whate'er I do, where'er I be, still tis God's hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. 
Sometimes mid scenes of deepest gloom, sometimes where Eden's bowers bloom. By water still or troubled sea, still tis his hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Lord, I would clasp my hand in thine, nor ever murmur nor repine. Content whatever lot I see, since tis my God that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. And when my task on earth is done, when by thy grace the victory's won, in death's cold wave I will not flee, since God through Jordan leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. <sighs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. I didn't want to come. I was cutting up metal all day, so I was getting metal pieces up my nose. And when I took a shower and I blew my nose, it was all black. So I got that going for me. But we got most of it done, so that was great. Okay. Ah, where are we? You remember where we are? Oh, yeah. Okay. We started John chapter 19. And we read how the soldiers, Pilate said that he didn't find anything wrong with Jesus. Jesus hadn't done anything wrong, <clears throat> but he still punished him. He still had him scourged, remember, like beaten. And then the uh, soldiers put the crown of thorns. They twisted up some thorns into the shape of a crown and put it on his head. And then they made fun of him. They said, oh, look, here's the king. He's wearing his crown. And then they struck him. They were uh, <clears throat> hitting him with their hands. And then Pilate went out again, and this is how it ended, and said to them, Behold, I am bringing him out to you, that you may know that I find no fault in him. <clears throat> <clears throat> but, you know, his word said that, but his actions said something different, didn't they? Because we don't punish people that haven't done anything wrong. <clears throat> um, so it says, starting in verse 5, John chapter 19, starting in verse 5, it says, then Jesus came out, <clears throat> wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. And Pilate said to them, Behold the man. Therefore, when the chief priests and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, <clears throat> Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, You take him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. So again, he's saying, I haven't found anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. The Jews answered him, we have a law, and according to our law, he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. That wasn't very true, was it? He didn't make himself the Son of God. God made him that way. 
passage, therefore, when Pilate heard that saying, that he was the son of God, he was the more afraid. Now Pilate's scared. He says, "Uh uh-oh, is this really the son of God? And Pilate went again into the praetorium and said to Jesus, where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then Pilate said to him, are you not speaking to me? Do you not know that I have power to crucify you and power to release you? Jesus answered, You could have no power at all against me unless it had been given you from above. Therefore, the one who delivered me to you has the greater sin. From then on, Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, If you let this man go, you are not Caesar's friend. Whoever makes himself a king speaks against Caesar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus out and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in Hebrew, Gabbatha. Now it was the preparation day of the Passover, and about the sixth hour. And he said to the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him! Away with him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar! Then he delivered Jesus to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and led him away. Wow. Pilate was saying one thing, but doing another thing. He was acting not in uh, in alignment with his uh, with his words. But then, when they said he made himself the son of God, that was their real charge against him. He really hadn't done anything wrong. But they're saying, no, he has done something wrong. He said he's the son of God. And then Pilate was scared. He said, wait a minute. And so he went back in to ask Jesus, and what did Jesus say to him? He says he said nothing. He didn't answer him. You know why? Because he had already had an opportunity to know. Jesus tried to explain it to him, but he didn't want to hear. You know, sometimes we have opportunities to learn something or to do something, but we have to take that opportunity. We have to choose to walk in that. It says that from after that moment, when he talked to Jesus again, he sought to release him. He wanted to let Jesus go. He didn't want to crucify him or kill him. But he couldn't. He was too worried about what the people would say or what the people would think. And so he tried to use the argument. Shall I crucify your king? And what did the priest say to him? We have no king but Caesar. Caesar was the king of Rome. So, what they were really saying is that God was not their king, their leader. They were fully surrendered to Caesar. They were allowing Caesar to be their leader and not God. And at that point, they took Jesus away. You know, we can be... just as caught up in things we can be distracted by our desires our wants our selfishness and it can lead us to be disconnected from God we don't connect with God we don't talk to God because we don't feel like we need him we feel like we're good enough we have the strength we have the ability and when we get to that point that's when we start saying we don't have any king but Caesar but really what they were saying is that we are our own authority. We don't need any other authority. God wants us to trust in Him. He knows what's best. He knows the end from the beginning. <clears throat> and He wants what's best for us. And He knows what's best for us. And so He has asked us to trust Him as He leads us and shows us the way. I pray that you guys do that. I pray that I do that. Mommy and Daddy aren't perfect, and we make mistakes too. But Jesus is merciful and forgiving. I hope you guys have a good preparation day. I hope to have a nice Sabbath here. I get to hang out with uh, Jonathan's parents every week on Sabbath. It's very nice. Let's have a quick prayer. 
and then I'm going to lay down. Father, we thank you for the blessing of your Sabbath, the time to rest in you. We thank you for your forgiveness and your mercy. We thank you for your patience. We thank you that you desire to give us all of the things that are for our good and, and our pleasure, our blessing. We pray that you would forgive us for often just focusing on our own desires and not uh, not even realizing that we're missing out on such greater opportunities and blessings by following our simple ideas. I'm going to pray that you would be with Asher, and that you would help him to continue to get better. Be with Joseph and help him to get better also as he's struggling with a cold. I pray that you would be with mom and the baby, and that you would help mom to stay strong and healthy and that the baby would grow well. And just pray that uh, you would continue to guide us as a family. And please bring us back together again uh, in your timing. We thank you, Father, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. All right, boys, I love you. Good night. Love you, Mom. I hope you have a good day today. And I'll talk to you in the morning. My morning. Your evening. Bye.